In last week's adventure, I head out solo, camping and diving two days on a remote beach in New Zealand. I encounter amazing underwater sea life, incredible terrain above, a magical spot. Camping and hunting my seafood over two days. Vast schools of fish, clean blue water, taking new species off the list, amazing ecosystems, catch and cook on the beach, just an incredible experience and one not to miss. In this week's Primal Pursuit Adventure, I'm on a huge mission, heading to an offshore volcanic island far off the coast of mainland New Zealand in my biggest mission yet on my little boat. It's going to be an awesome adventure, hunting my own seafood again, diving in some pristine offshore waters, encountering all sorts of sea life, a cook up on the boat of some fresh beautiful seafood, another awesome adventure showcasing the beautiful underwater world and that of New Zealand's coastlines. Stay tuned for an awesome adventure. G'day everyone, welcome to another Primal Pursuit mission. Ollie here. We're on an epic mission today, going to the furthest I've ever been on this little boat. We're going out to this island way out there by the sunrise. Absolute cracker of a day. Should be bluebird, no wind, no swell, so gonna go catch feed, have a cook up out there, enjoy the day exploring this incredible offshore island. Let's do it. Alright guys, we finally made it over to the island. Um, quite a bit of a run, took about 45 minutes. A bit more choppy the sea than I predicted, but we're here. We had this huge, vast volcanic island to explore. I was going to chuck the drone up to show you where I am, uh, give you a taste for the area, but I've left a key component at home, so no drone today. But you can just see it's this rugged, volcanic coastline just all around the whole island. I'm going to time it with the tides, I've got a reef that I want to hit for the kingfish. Uh, we'll wait till the low tide incoming for that one and uh, so we're going to spend the morning hunting snapper. In New Zealand snapper is one of the most sought after fish to target on the spear gun because they're quite tricky to hunt, very flighty, any movement, any sound, they're gone so um, quite fun to hunt. So I'm going to spend the morning, I'm going to find a nice sheltered bit of coast around here anchor up and we'll go for a nice morning swim see if we can get a snapper otherwise anything to make some fish burgers for lunch because I've got all the ingredients for a wicked fish burger so let's get the wetsuit on I'm freezing it's middle of winter here and um, get even more cold jump in the water Sweet, wetsuit on, ready to rumble. So I've got this morning sun, I'm going to use it to my advantage. So when I'm hunting snapper, peeking over the ledges, over rocks, I have that sun on my back, I swim down the coast like that. It's gonna help a lot, um, hunting snapper. So pretty easy little tip, we'll just swim right down the coast, see what we can pick up. Hey, still might find a crayfish or something, not gonna be picky, something tasty for lunch and just explore this beautiful island, never been here. So yeah, pumped as to see what's underwater. Whew, let's go. 
Spare gun choice for today is my 100 centimeter carbon roller, Rob Allen. I've got a Coatsman roll head on it, very low profile, and uh, with a 50 meter reel. It's just the perfect all rounder size gun for New Zealand, in my opinion. Shoot anything with this, I absolutely love it. So, yeah, nice and light, nimble, <sighs> beauty. Instantly I was greeted with quite a bit of fish life, lots of small fish all throughout the water column, nice clean water, it was looking promising. Beautiful schools of demersal and sweet blue mau mau here, lovely diving. It's not quite the terrain I'm after so I swim further down the coast, diving down once again into a school of fish. Just warming up the lungs, slowly increasing the breath hold and seeing if there's anything lurking in the distance, a target species which I'd like to take. A poor eye in the distance, not quite what I'm after. I continue along creeping over ledges here using the kelp using the sun to my advantage, hopefully blinding a fish, ideally a snapper, sleeping down in these gutters. I creep over ledge after ledge, just nothing around except for the classic reefies you see in front of you, black angel fish. We've got the wrasse in large, large numbers here, probably the most I've ever seen in one spot, amazing. Still not really what I'm after. Big bommy here, covered in kinna. Again, all the usual suspects. And the rest, they keep following me along, so as usual, I like to give them a feed of kinna, I crack open a few. And they seem very hungry, swarming in to get a taste of this delicacy. A nice poor eye here swims past, otherwise known as Blue Wumong. Up and down, up and down, I scout this coastline. Absolutely beautiful scenes as such, but I'm just not seeing the fish I'm after. Not complaining, this is just amazing. Well, back on board, that was a struggle. Plenty of little reef fish around and stuff. I thought surely we're gonna get onto something. Just those poor eye around, um, not a fan of them. I think they taste like dishwashing liquid, so I've left them for someone else um, for another day. <sighs> Pretty cold, um, but we're, we're surviving. I saw one blue moki, but it was uh, a bit scared and took off, two tiny snapper. So yeah, struggle street, but Lovely diving, we'll just keep moving. I'll find another spot and um, I'm sure we'll find something to shoot and cook up for lunch shortly. See this coastline, it's so bloody cool. Wicked, wicked bit of coastline. Big sea caves. Other bonus of spearfishing, just get to see some amazing, amazing sights above the water. Look at this volcanic cliffs, it's just cool as man. Pristine, clean water. Wicked. Look at that. Right, focus. Got to find some fish. It's already getting on towards lunch lunchtime. I'm getting pretty hungry, so. I'll try and 
try one more spot along the coast here, one more swim for some reef species. And if no luck, we'll head out to this uh, offshore reef out of deep water and uh, I'm sure we'll find something there. Freezing, really. Winter's really set in, and um, even in a fresh new five mil suit, it's, um, it's pretty nippy. So, get some hot fluid into me, and then we'll get back in. Oh, lucky I bought my uh, beanie prime mob suit. If you want one of these, keep your heads warm in winter. Um, I'll leave the link in the description. Prime mob suit. Code on Z. Let's get warm. After refueling, nice warm drink, I sink back down into the cool winter water. I encounter a large school of koheru, a tasty bait fish, a favourite snack of large yellowtail kingfish here in New Zealand. And it doesn't take long and they light up yellow on the sides, which means there's a predator nearby. Out in the distance, a small kingfish roams the reef trying to round up these bait fish, not big enough to shoot. Beautiful scenes, the fish dancing around. A set of ground bait in front of this ledge drop off here in the kelp. Cutting up a fish, trying to lure in a snapper. Time passes. I come and check my ground bait, but nothing's come on it and the whole fish which I've cut up has disappeared. There's a shark taking it, there's a seal taking it, a large stingray, I'm not sure, but it's strange. Not a trace. No luck. Decide to call it at the spot and move to the offshore reef. Well, still pretty grim. No fish on board, no seafood. Gonna have to succumb to eating a kinna soon. Um, <laughs> yeah. I see that nice fish burley down there. Left it for half an hour, thought surely I'll come back, there'll be a few snapper on it. And there was just nothing anywhere. And no fish, just no trace. I thought, oh yeah, maybe a shark or a big stingray's coming and grabbed it. And then I thought, oh, there was a little eel racing around at the start. So I dived down, checking the caves, and right down in deep, there's more eel there. He's stolen the fish, taking it right down into his cave, and he's just having a having a nice lunch so oh well he's happy so yeah i'm gonna have to move on i'm gonna head for the reef aim for the reef now offshore reef hopefully we've got some action there i make it to the reef emerging from a vast amount of deep water nearby hopefully catching some current and hopefully holding some fish it takes a while and then i spot a target a tasty butterfish, one of my favourites. I sink down using this boulder and kelp as cover, wait for the fish to emerge out of the kelp, stretch out and plug it. Finally, I've got a fish. Patience pays off and this is going to be beautiful eating for lunch. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> a tasty butterfish, a vegetarian fish, eating oh, kelp wow. and whatnot. Damn. Beautiful <laughs> eating. I sink back down into the kelp beds to see what else is around. I can still see a few other butterfish circling around. Another nice one here. Spining this fish. As you can see, it just topples over. A nice clean kill. Beautiful. Another butterfish in the bag. I'm back down in the kelp. My favourite fish, and one I don't see often, and with good numbers, I want to take a few home. So I'm just sitting there in the kelp, using it to my advantage, hiding, letting the fish feel more comfortable, and sure enough, they start emerging, and I'm able to attempt a shot at another one. Missing this butterfish, but there's plenty more around. And just wait for the right moment, wait till I can find a larger, mature specimen and it doesn't take long. Beautiful scenes, just sitting down here in the kelp beds. Here some nice butterfish move in. I wait, choose my target and get a nice shot on this one. Again, spine shot and the fish topples over. Beautiful. Whack a few more over, and it's time for lunch. Time for a cook up. Whew, finally got onto some fish. Geez, it wasn't looking too promising, but here um, yeah, I was diving out here off this big drop off into deep water. Heaps of kohiru around, bait fish. Um, there's just no current, no tide pushing today. The, um, the moon phase, I think it's almost a new moon. It's just, um, yeah, very slack and just, just basically dead. Um, the phrase you'd say um, but finally I managed to start to find some butterfish which one of my favorite fish and I actually just don't see them often um, not a very common fish for me for some reason so I got onto them there were butterfish just everywhere so shot a bunch of them we're gonna make some real nice butterfish burgers and uh, take a few home because these yeah just are my favorite they freeze real well so yeah awesome that's me got the fish I'm gonna get warm get some clothes on maybe pull into one of these nice beautiful little coves here bays and um, yeah we have a cook up all right nice and warm made it over to this beautiful coastline just here a couple of meters of water very clean and clear probably should have been diving around here all good we've got our fish and I've just got it all set up for lunch so we're gonna do some uh, Fish burgers, got crumbs, all the ingredients, all coriander, lemons, you name it, we've got it. Here's our little kitchen set up. Got the cob grill ready, so we're going to fry the fish on here and uh, enjoy our lunch with this beautiful brack chop. Okay, here's our butterfish catch of the day. Nice big butterfish, nice mature fish. Yeah, these are just such good eating, in my opinion, so... Let's cut this up. Butterfish are also called green bone. You can see in the light there, I'm not sure if you can see that hint, tinge of bluey green on the spine. Sometimes it can be very bright. Um, yeah, delicious fish. Vegetarians, they're just eating the kelp and stuff. Yeah, lovely, lovely eating. Very soft, flaky flesh. Yum. Lovely fillets, skin those, and we are gonna get cooking.
I'd have forgotten my binder for the crumb, so I'm gonna use Pirinay's Nando sauce for the um, topping, so use that as well for the binder. I'm sure it'll just add a bit more flavor. Panko breadcrumb, El Classic. Always good. Right, Barbie's doing its thing. Let that heat up. Cucumbers, pickled. All right, smelling pretty good. We're ready. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh yeah, that is just falling to pieces. Beautiful. Right, let's get that on our burgers. Red onion, coriander, oh, it's beautiful with fish, I love it, so I'm going to pile it on, Pyrenees, drizzle of lemon over, There we have it. Beautiful, fresh butterfish burgers in a uh, pretty amazing spot. Yum. All right, taste test. <sighs> so hungry. Wow. Butterfish burgers are the best. I've said it before, and these are my best I've ever done. That Nando sauce, wow. Epic binder. I'm not a big fan of using egg and flour to crumb fish. Either straight mayonnaise and then bread crumb, or geez, that's good. Sweet chili sauce, anything but. Wow, very tasty. Oh, just processing the last couple of fish out here while I'm out of nature and uh, vacuum bagging them up got my little tussock outdoors um, portable vacuum set it's wicked battery power so um, yeah we just lock that, just lock that in oh, got beautifully uh, vacuum packed butterfish that'll last months in the freezer Keeping the frames, the fisheries want to pull me up. There we go, there's the evidence for the size limit. Save the mess at home. Tustic Outdoors, shout out to them.
What a feast. Happy days. Tough going today, but got a feed and I've got some fish to take home. Had an awesome day out. You can't complain. Absolute glass off. Time to get home and edit this adventure for you. So, hope you liked it. Nothing crazy, no big fish, but um, as usual, just getting out in nature, getting underwater, whole nother world down there. Good for your mind, body, soul, everything. It's, um, it's amazing. So, see you soon. See you on the next episode. If you want to support the channel, links down below, primalpursuit.co.nz, beanies and all that stuff. Helps the channel truck along. Leave a comment, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, want to see more, all that stuff. Cheers guys, see you next time. Thank you.